The member for Flamborough Glenbrook. Mr. Speaker, for decades, the Baha'i community has been the most persecuted peoples in Iran, but in the past few weeks, the ruling mullahs have orchestrated an increasingly hostile and systematic attack on the Baha'i Iranians. The situation is surely grim for the Baha'i. The eyes of the world are on Iran, and much of the international community is speaking out and putting the appropriate pressure on Iran. Why have the Liberals been so silent in denouncing the latest wave of hatred? Why aren't they speaking out and pressuring the Iranian regime to stop the attack on the Baha'i people. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We've repeated our commitment to re-engage with Iran in a step-by-step -step and cautious manner. Canada's severing of ties with Iran had no positive consequences for anyone, not for Canadians, not for the people of Iran, not for our allies like Israel, and not for global security. It was fortunate, for instance, at the end of the 1970s that we had a Canadian embassy in Tehran when it was time to help U.S. hostages. Our allies are also re-engaging with Iran, most recently a European Union delegation. The Conservatives seem to want Canada to stand alone, which helps no one. Thank you.